hello and welcome to this video my name is Emmanuel Okafo and I hope you guys are doing well in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create your own FK and IK switch so this method is quite easy and straightforward and the great thing about this particular method is that it has the ability or there's a possibility for you to be able to create a nice snapping between the FK and IK and that means when you have an IK you can easily snap it back to the FK and vice versa so let's get started so when you talk about IK the best way to show why this um, why it's even necessary to have like an FK and IK switch um, is this simple animation of a hand swinging uh, you can see the FK um, bone does or FK constraint does a better job in a hand swing and that's because the FK allows you to have like a more um, pendulum motion where you can have nice fall off whereas the IK allows you to be able to easily grab up to something and the best use of the amateur that usually have IK is usually the leg because it allows you to plant your foot and get a very nice stable motion but the FK allows you more freedom to be able to move around more freely so with a very if you want to have a very standard rig it's always important to be able to have the best of both world so that's what we'll be doing today so in this fresh blender scene i've gone ahead and load loaded in a hand model so this is what we'll be rigging and using to set up the fk and ik switch so we'll go ahead and add a simple armature and just kind of place it at this point i'm just looking at getting it to look very pleasing to the eye so i'm going to set uh, enabled in front so i can see through the mesh and also i like to work in a wireframed mode um, we can go back to the bone edit mode and just extrude it for this tutorial we'll not be worrying about the fingers we'll just be worrying about the upper ha hands lower arms and the hands so it's always important you select everything and apply the rotation and scale this allows blender to work with the most accurate information about your geometry because if you don't have that you will notice you have a um, problem when editing or sculpting or even applying simulation so what i'm doing here is just pretty standard of the way of going about creating an ik constraint so you can just extrude two bones at that location so the one i'm selecting now is just basically the vector pole that would control the elbow of the IK and then we have the hand control which was which is the other one I extruded so you want to select the hand IK shift select the top lower arm and hit shift I this allows you to quickly add the constraint and we can do the same thing for the lower arm so the reason why I set it to two is just because um, the length is determined by the amount of bones you have there so if you have multiple bones you can either play with that you can make it three or not and if you have two bone like what we have we had earlier um, you can just set it to two so that's just basically that also you will notice that the IK is not controlling the rotation of the hand bone so using the child off constraint you can quickly set that up and as you can see it follows along now another important thing is um, to uncheck the inherent rotation and the reason for that is to actually make the IK work like it's supposed to because if the inherent rotation is turned on, you still get some um, motions or some... It, it, it basically, it doesn't feel snappy when you try to grab something, um, with, especially when using the IK. So you want to remove the, the rotation from the hand bone and just let all the rotation come from the IK constraint itself. So as you can see, it's working and looking much better. Next, we want to set up the elbow. So we do the same thing, shift I to add the IK constraint. And this time we'll set it to one because we just needed to affect one bone so like i was saying if you want to affect multiple bones you can easily set the number to two if you have more, more, more than two bones you can set it to three so um that's just basically the kind of mindset behind that so before i go ahead and bind it i'm going to select the ik bones uh, that those bones that will not deform it and uncheck the former I, if you hold on alt you can do that and then we can parent the mesh onto the bone by hitting Ctrl P. So as you can see, everything works now. And I'm just going ahead to show you the difference between the enabling the inherent rotation. As you can see, with it's turned on, you still get this kind of weird motion. It's not snappy, 
But so once you uncheck that, you can see we have the hand in place, which is what you want, especially when you're using IK. So the, the basic um, principle of this method of creating the IK switch is basically using drivers. And why drivers is the best option is because you can just turn off what we don't need. Um, we can just turn off the influence of the IK and then switch to FK. And once we are done with that, we can easily switch back to the IK, um, IK constraint. And we can use driver to drive that basically. So if you right click, you can do a driver and you want to select show driver editor. And now we play with the expression. So the expression is basically straightforward. The name of the value, if you set it to boy, you want to make sure the, the value is set to boy too. So that's basically it. And then for the amateur, we need to create a switch that would drive the entire animation. So I just added a new bone and I'm going to call it switch. And the reason for that is so that I can easily identify it. So you can call it whatever you want. So you can select the bone, go to the constraint, right click and open driver editor. So we can now select the appropriate bones. So for the axis, I'm going to set to, to Y location and local space. So when you're working with amateur, it's important you set it to local space. I'm also going to add a modifier called generator and setting it to 10. This basically tells Blender to, to bring the effect very fast. So if the influence is set to 1 and the generator is set to 1, it's going to take a bit time to take um, take effect but if you set it to 10 it's very snap so now for the influence I it's not doing what I it's not doing exactly what I want to do um, I would like to have go more in depth with the stripe the scripting uh, expressions um, it's just basically um, understanding basic mass and kind of playing around with stuff so you can for example now I want by default the influence should be one because I want the IK to be the default um, movement of the bone so to do that i'm going to set um variable so the variable which is going to be the two names okay i'm going to set it plus one so now by default it's going to start at one and then i want when i move up it should be zero so for that i'm going to set negative variable plus one so it's going to just tell it to when it go onto the negative axis, it should become one. But I, I also want the default value to be one. So it's actually straightforward. And you can just copy the exact script which I used or play around with yours to really understand it. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial, you can let me know. So once I have that, I can just easily copy the driver and paste it onto the rest. And you can see we have that working. But once you notice is that since we uncheck the inherit bone rotation, you can see, and we the you can see that it's not following along again. And since the IK bone is the main parent um, of the hand, we can it's not since it's an it's switching to an FK, it's not working. So what I'm going to do is to add a child of constraint and constrain the IK hand bone onto the lower hand. So I'm going to animate this. It's going to also be controlled by the driver. And I'm going to turn it on every, anytime I switch to the FK. And anytime I'm in the IK, I would turn it off. So I'm just going to um, optimize the expression. I'm going to set just to var. So that it's kind of the inverse of what the other bones are doing. So uh, when I turn enable the FK, it turns on. And whenever I enable the IFK, it turns off. So as you can see now, it's we've fixed the issue and it's falling along um, nicely. And we have the switch going on. So for the next stage, I'm going to show you how you can actually animate and create the nice switch between them. So for the switching, um, it's quite easy and straightforward. Um, you just need to insert keyframe. Let's say we have the, want to animate the IK first of all. So we animate um, just basic animation and when we get to the point where we want to apply the when we want to switch to fk so you can actually turn off the hand bone now so what i want to do is select all the visible bones or all the bones you want to switch and press ctrl a and apply visual transformation okay so i would repeat that again apply visual transformation with ctrl a and once you've done that then you can switch and you will see that the IK, the IK bone will just remain in that same position. And all you just need is to select the hand bone and set uh, inverse in the constraint tab. 
and everything is all set and you just have a very nice smooth transition so now you can see the IK have taken place now and we can easily animate it and everything is working as it's meant to work so you can al al always replay this to kind of really understand what I did there so now we are going to switch back to the IK so it's basically the same thing we select all the bones you need apply the visual transformation and just switch it to IK and that's all you need to do and as you can see everything has switched nicely it has nice transition and you can switch back to IK and keep working so that bas that's basically the entire workflow and it, the switching is quite nice and quite close to um, the same location and position you might tweak it um, to get a more smoother transition as needed but this is a very starting point essentially um, this most the method we used to create it is quite easy and straightforward um, okay so that will be it for this tutorial I hope it was helpful I hope um, this was um, insightful in some way or the other please if you enjoy don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you watch, wish to see more from me don't forget to hit the subscribe button so bye bye for now by the way compliment of the season we're quite close to Christmas I hope you guys are I, I, even with the situation I hope you're close to your loved one um, so anyways thank you so much for watching this video video bye bye for now see you next time